So that last little surprise was courtesy of who? Tater. Tater? Tater. Police. Always. He's a uh, police officer from Thrall, Texas. Police officer from Thrall, Texas. The two lessons to be learned here. A, always trust a police officer in their workout advice. I gotta chase criminals. I gotta be strong and fast. And B, always trust a guy named Tater when he's giving you workout advice. Maybe a good chance he's been to prison with a name like Tater. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. What's good about it? It's 4.30 a.m. I'm headed to the gym this morning. That is the only reason I ever get up this early. That or to go fishing, and I haven't been fishing in a while. So, the reason I'm getting up so early is my wife just had surgery, and I'm not a, gonna get into the, all the gory details of that, but it is on a podcast episode if you wanna follow you want to check out and subscribe to On Tour with Chris Lee. Uh, I curse a lot more on that podcast than I do on this gym vlog, on this gains vlog, if you will. But check it out. It kind of goes into detail about the surgery. It's actually a really, really good story and uh, shows just how much stronger my wife is than me. Just don't tell her I said that. But I'm off today to get this gym work out out of the way early um, so I can get back get the kids up get them fed and get them off to school this morning because I get to be dad and mom this week while I'm in town and then this afternoon I leave town I fly up to New York uh, actually I fly into Cleveland I meet the buses and then we drive to New York we play New York State Fair tomorrow and then we go play this festival in Canada. So I got a busy couple of days coming up. And then after that, I come back into the States and we play um, some county fair in Ohio. And then we head back home. We start making our way back home to Texas. So I got a busy couple of days ahead of me. It's always a, a challenge to you know, find a good meal and find some stability in the diet. Uh, much less finding a good gym option. So I've got to get that resolved for the next few days, finding a good gym and finding some good um, meal options and not just pizza and county fair corn dogs, which I, I love. I love county fair food. I love state fair food better. But uh, it's uh, not very productive to the gains. So, I'm gonna go hit this day. I'm gonna do shoulders. Shoulders is the only reason I would wake up this early. If you told me I had to do legs, I would just hit that snooze button. So, I'll see you later. But I'm gonna go do shoulders. I'll see you guys here in a bit. Okay, guys. That was a uh, good shoulder day. What? I didn't video anything. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you why. So going to the gym at 4.30 in the morning, right? You would think, oh, there's, there's not gonna be anybody in there. It's gonna be you know, all the space and everything one could imagine, one could desire. And almost ran over that guy. Wow. Um, but that was not the case this morning. Man, it was crazy. Everybody and their mother and their uncle was at the gym this morning. It was absolutely insane in there. So I did not video. Um, normally I don't care if there's people around, <clears throat> video, I don't give a shit. Um, but this morning it was just really strange because my gym, my home gym, as you've seen before, um, it's a, like a normal anytime fitness. And then they have this one room where it's like more of the hardcore weightlifting stuff. There's a big rack and uh, the platform for doing deadlifts and everything. It's it's a really cool layout, but I go in there this morning and there's this group of women 
and they're all doing some kind of a class. They've got their little iPad out, and they're just conducting their own little class. Uh, I sh I'm not hating on them. I know it sounds like I'm hating on them. God bless them. They're teachers, by the way, too. They may be teaching at the school where my kids go to school. So I, I should probably kind of watch what I say with these ladies. It'd be nice to them. But anyway, God bless them. They're in there at 5 o'clock in the morning getting after it, doing their little class. But it was just really distracting. I didn't bring my headphones either, so that was even worse. I, normally, I have the headphones. I can block out anything that's going on around me, any other conversations or people farting or whatever. But, uh, man, I heard everything there is to know about the third grade this morning. So, <laughs> I didn't get a chance to film. But trust me, it was a really good shoulder day. You just got to take my word for it. So, I'm going to go home. I uh, stopped and got some donuts for the kids. A bike lock for my little girl's brand new bicycle. I'm going to go home and uh, get these kids up, get them out the door. Like I said, I'm going to play mom today. And then I got to start getting ready for a trip out to the Northeast. So I'll catch up with you guys here at breakfast. I told you guys earlier, taking care of my dear wife this week. She had major, major surgery. She had the a double mastectomy, both boobs taken away and replaced with new ones with Legos. So she looks so, she looks so pretty today. An ass hat. A bitch tit. You're such a bitch tit. <laughs> it's breakfast time here. Casa de Gains. So this is nothing really out of the ordinary. I have a long, long flight and travel day today. So I'm trying to really do it up well on this breakfast. I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm having my oats and that is a little more than usual. That is actually about a cup and a half. So I'm having those oats and then in the oven I have five eggs and some bacon. I'm actually gonna give some of that bacon to my youngest, Rain. But, um, and no, those donuts right there, the donuts are not for me. I would like to have the donuts, but I cannot. Donuts currently do not fit into my meal plan. So I will not be having donuts today. But I'm gonna leave here in just a few hours. I'm gonna head down to the Austin airport, which is about an hour from here. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fly to Cleveland. We're meeting the buses in Cleveland tonight. We're gonna drive all the way to Syracuse, New York. So this time tomorrow, I will be in Syracuse, Syracuse, New York, probably just wrapping up a workout, actually. So I'm gonna eat breakfast, get on the road. I'll see you guys in New York. New York, not, not what I expected. I thought that there was gonna be tall buildings and skyscrapers and no, that's, uh, pizza. That's New York City. Oh, okay. New York State Fair. We're not in Syracuse anymore. Okay, we're not even in Syracuse anymore, so double jeopardy for me. Going to this place called Pine Grove Fitness. And uh, I hear it's really rather awesome. It's a nice change of pace from our regular High school locker room, weight room. We like those two. Situation. Those are cool. Or in any time fitness. This place looks very fancy online, so I'm gonna go hit it up right now. I'm doing arms today, by the way. My arms, I feel like, are getting small, starting to look like Granger's. So I gotta really hit them hard this morning. Let's do it. I wanna point out in this video, I'm rocking way too much on these barbell curls and uh, that's not good it's not proper form so <laughs> one of the reasons why I like video on this stuff is so I can check my form and it's not great on this barbell curl right here don't rock lesson lesson for the kids do not rock when doing barbell curls so for me name of the game on skull crushers is a do not crush your skull but B, keeping a very, very straight arm right there. 
I find out if you get too much weight, if you go too high on the weight, you tend to engage your back more and it becomes more of like a back pullover thing. So keeping those arms straight is crucial for me and just bending at the elbows. Oh, this is not back day this is a bicep workout the important thing is not engaging your back too much putting a mental focus on using those biceps to pull yourself up not the back Okay, so he just threw me a little curveball. We're about to do some kind of a bicep curl burnout. Basically, it's how many reps? 30. 30 reps, okay. In 25. In 25, 15, 10, with no rest in between. Well, that's just crazy. So I'm gonna have to start with uh, some 15s, I'm assuming. That even seems a little aggressive, but here we go. Twenty on the last one. My shoulders are killing me more than anything. I know, and my forearms are getting me too. You can't see it, but everybody in this gym right now is making fun of me for using these fives. I don't give a shit. So that last little surprise was courtesy of who? Tater. Tater? Tater. Police. Always. Go ahead. He's a uh, police officer from Thrall, Texas. Police officer from Thrall, Texas. The two lessons to be learned here. A, always trust a police officer on their workout advice. I gotta chase criminals. I gotta be strong and fast. And B, always trust a guy named Tater when he's giving you workout advice. <laughs> Maybe a good chance he's been to prison with a name like Tater. <laughs> Fried catering, fried chicken. Uh, I think that's pot roast. Todd is going to the commode. Mashed potatoes, 
That's uh, sweet potatoes and some other vegetables I don't like. And a whole bunch of broccoli. This is really, really good. But I want to show you. I want to show you what's the best. The best thing ever is I advanced this. Check it out. Dinner napkins match my shoes. They match my Yeezys, bro. That's how do you know you've made it? This is how you know you've made it, Todd. Yeah!